Hey, this is John from Stub Group, and today I am joined by Chris. Chris is one of our team members who's working directly with our clients and managing campaigns, making sure that we're able to give, give you, uh, if you're one of our clients, the best-in-class service. And uh, so I asked Chris, hey, let's sit down, and what is something that you're thinking about or predicting or planning for in 2024? And that's where we're here now. So Chris, I'm excited to hear what you've got. The uh, stage is yours. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, John. It's an honor to be here. Um, yeah, let's dive in. Well, first and foremost, I think this is going to be an interesting year. Uh, Google's always want to pull the rabbit out of the hat. And uh, I can't wait to see what they're doing or what they're planning to do. But um, I, I like where things are going for now. Um, I, I've been recently looking at demand gen and, you know, quite the features that it offers. and. I think Google is kind of caught up with the idea of where platforms like TikTok and Facebook are heading. And um, I think they realize that they give us far more control on these social platforms and realize that, hey, this is maybe what you know marketers are looking for is better control over the data and the data sources. And I think they also realize that you know they have one of the most powerful AI systems out there. And why not utilize it better? And I, I like that more. Another thing that I really like, not just for personal preference, is I, I'm glad to see that Google is finally updating their um, user experience, their dashboards. It's It's been quite a while. It's been so long, it's actually hard for me to, to learn the new platform and to, to get to use the new buttons. But um, I, I like where this is going and I see they're really shaping up on that end. I think it's gonna be an exceptional year when you look at how data is compiled. Um, I feel Google has been kind of lacking with platforms like uh, Performance Max and giving us quite the access that we we get, are able to get to data with search campaigns, but they kind of like gatekeeping it. I, I don't want to use that word, but it feels like like that. But <laughs> nonetheless, I, I think we're going to get much better access to the data we're seeing. And platforms like Analytics is all obviously going to tell us what's working, what's not working. But altogether, I think this is going to be an interesting year. And I mean, AI just found their feet in the beginning of 2023. And I think this year is going to be extremely shocking. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that come in. I, I recently have been seeing a lot of ads that, you know, you can see that it's been AI generated for the most part. But yeah. it, it's good to, I think, for us as marketers, we have to realize there's power in it, but not overutilize on it. So over rely on it shall I say uh, I mean there's there's a lot of things to look out for not sounding gimmicky totally yeah no, I, I agree with you there and I, I like how you framed thinking of demand gen campaigns how you framed those as being comparable to say Facebook campaigns or TikTok campaigns because I think this is an area that Google's always kind of been frustrated with, which is that they feel that they're held to a different standard than maybe Facebook, you know, Meta is, because a lot of people think about Google as a kind of direct, um, a direct response platform where they have expectations for return on ad spend to be very high. Um, but then you run these higher funnel campaigns like on YouTube or demand gen, where you're not going to see the same row as because you're creating audiences, getting people into your funnel. But Google's like, well, Hey, if, if you can live with, you know, meta having a really bad row as why can't you live with Google having a really bad row as directly attributed, you know, knowing that there's that top of funnel value. So yeah, I think there's, um, I think demand gen, like you said, is, is one of their responses towards that and them trying to work really well at that top of funnel demand generation side of things. Yeah. And, um, from a branding perspective, I mean, they, they really changed the, the look of demand gen because essentially it's discovery campaigns and utilizing some of those features there, but they kind of rebranded it as the new kid on the block. And I, I'm very proud of them for that. Cause I mean, it looks like a better product all in all. And finally you can kind of shed that aura of it's an old school marketing platform. Cause every, you, you know, as well as I do, John, some people still call it AdWords and um, <laughs> totally. we're trying to move away from it for so many years now, but you know, Google's been stuck in that. Absolutely. And if you're watching this video and you're not sure how to navigate around the new interface yet, uh, we just recorded a long video about how to do so. So go watch that and um, hopefully that'll be, that'll be helpful, kind of a walkthrough of building out a new campaign, how that looks like in the new interface. 
Chris, thanks so much for sharing those thoughts. 100% agree with you. And I'm excited about what's coming up in 2024. And uh, if you are watching this video and you want to work with expert digital marketers like Chris and the rest of our team, we'd love to talk. Reach out through stubgroup.com. Let's see what you're doing and how we can help dominate Google ads in 2024. But until next time, John and Chris, standing off.